It is important to restore the oyster reefs because they are a hotspot of life, of biodiversity. Offshore wind energy is an essential part of the successful energy transition in the Netherlands and should grow enormously in the coming years. Various projects are taking place within the programme of TKI Wind op Zee. This also includes a project that aims to develop and study new methods to reintroduce offshore flat oyster beds and related biodiversity in offshore wind farms. This project is called EcoFriend. In the North Sea we had oyster reefs which were really extended. They were like the pristine forests of the, of the European continent had the same function but then in the sea. I am Heinz Sass, I am the secretary of the Dutch Shellfish Reef Restoration Alliance. There was some kind of uh, oyster bonanza at the end of the 19th and the beginning of the 20th century. People discovered that they could easily fish them with the gear they had and they functioned as, as food for the relatively poor uh, industry workers of, the, of that time. And the overfishing which happened was so intense that unfortunately the reefs disappeared. What we try in EcoFriend is to re-establish oyster reefs and wind farms are probably a good spot for that. The reason we do that is because oyster reefs are a hot spot of biodiversity. So we enhance nature and we can do that in wind farms. I think that the offshore wind farms uh, really offer a good opportunity to, to test restoration projects, to see if it works. And then once uh, we have protected areas where no fisheries takes place anymore, then hopefully we can do that on a bigger scale. I am Oscar Bos, I'm a marine ecologist at Wageningen Marine Research. Well, EcoFriend is a project in which we try to develop uh, new methods, uh, innovative methods, cheaper methods to, to monitor oyster pilots. The aims of the project are, one, to monitor the growth and the survival and the reproduction of oyster pilots. And then the second part is that we develop uh, new methods to, to study oysters in a cheaper way than, than we could do before. And the third is to develop models with which you can predict at which locations oysters will survive, at which locations uh, oysters are not doing very well, and also the, the timing of the reproduction, for example. At Deltaris we've got large facilities, so large tanks, where we can simulate flow and waves. And one of the things that we've done in these uh, research facilities is test with different sizes of oysters and different weights of oysters under what circumstances they start moving about. I'm Luca van Duren and I work as a senior scientist at Deltaris. The essence of the research is to um, provide information where in the North Sea what type of restoration technology would be most suitable so you've got the best chance of getting oysters back into the North Sea. One of the things we're developing is larval dispersal models so if you release larvae at a certain location we look where they eventually end up, whether they stay in that area or whether they go somewhere else, whether they end up in an area that might be suitable or an area which is totally not suitable for oyster growth. The model used for this project is a hydrodynamic model of the North Sea, which is developed in our lab. And from that model, you can derive all sorts of parameters, and that can be salinity, it can be temperature, it can be flow velocity, direction of flow, that type of parameters. The North Sea is big, it's also a dangerous place, working offshore is expensive, so it's not that easy to go out somewhere and try something. You want to know beforehand, before you start, that you've got a reasonable chance to succeed. And that's what this project really is about, to give the best chances for oyster restoration projects to succeed. Well, this project has more or less ended, but we have a number of follow-up projects uh, that, that are now designed. For example, the idea that, that you cannot put oysters on the seafloor like that, but that you have to attach them to, to something 
like a reef structure that, is, has, that will be developed now in a new project. When I look into the future of the North Sea, I see a North Sea which is teeming with life. It is also very diverse. And that diversity is based on the reefs, the oyster reefs, which we have established there. Are you also working on an innovation? And would you like to know what Teka E. Vindop can do for you? Please contact us.